Hello friends, the other day I bumped into my friend Neha and you know what, she told me this incident about her teenage daughter which really touched my heart. She said a bubbly child who was so full of life, all the time interested in every activity around her, suddenly was sad, melancholy, just lost interest in studies, didn't want to eat, had varied and I would rather say altered sleep patterns. And by and large, just not interested to do anything enthusiastically. And she was really, really worried. Well, friends, today I'm talking to you about depression. Well, is there anyone in your family or your friend circle who's feeling lonely, who's self-loathing himself, who's just not interested to do what he's doing, who's sad, who's upset, who's angry, who's anxious? and who's just not even having trouble to do his day-to-day -day activity? Well, I must tell you about my friend Apsara. Apsara is a girl born in a boy's body and her fight started when she was very young. She had to face society, friends, relatives. There were severe bouts of depression she underwent. But the beauty part, the beauty of the whole thing is she came out of it victoriously and today she's not only a leading journalist she's a writer and she's an amazing motivating speaker so i'm going to introduce you to my good friend apsara who's going to tell us how she faces depression with a diva's attitude Hi, my name is Apsara. I'm a transgender woman and I'm so excited to be part of Dr. Renuka David's Wellness Conclave, which is basically a campaign to transform lives, to enrich lives and to touch lives in the ways that she always does in a positive way. I'm happy to talk about dealing with depression with a diva's attitude. When I started my transition, I was very young. I was met with a lot of criticism, a lot of uncharitable, baseless, cruel things. Uh, there were times when I used to come back home and cry, not knowing where to go to. Uh, I did suffer from depression because the world tells you whatever you're doing is wrong and internally too, you feel uh, wrong in the male body. I felt wrong in the male body. So I went through a cycle and bouts of depression for most part of my transition process. But I realized that you yourself have the willpower, you have it within yourself, the light is burning within to kind of take you to the right path and to get you out of depression. A lot of us um, uh, use um, friends, we use people as listening boards and we also uh, uh, engage in, uh, in things we're not supposed to engage in when we're depressed. My only advice to all of you is be brave, be strong, know what you want, take suggestions in a positive way but follow your heart with conviction and um, don't, don't give in to temptations um, like suicide. I know suicide is an option where uh, people who are depressed think of, at least most human beings think of at least once in their life, you'll be uh, dishonest if you said you never thought of it. Uh, I did think of it, um, but I think uh, I'm here today and I've, I've fought it. I think it's very important uh, to put life ahead of love, to put life ahead of everything else that you have, because I don't think uh, giving up on life or being depressed or being sad is an answer to anything. And, it, and the human spirit, I think, uh, surpasses all of that. And the most important thing to remember is you're not alone. People around you, people in your friend's circle and people who you look up to perhaps suffer from the same depression. Depression is not a disease. Depression is not an illness that you should be ashamed of. It's something where you can talk about, you can, you can seek help and I think it's important to know that there is a better tomorrow and not uh, sulk in what's today. If you're watching me now and you're going through a phase where you're feeling depressed, I want to be that friend who holds your hand because I got through it. Wow, that was truly convincing, wasn't it? It touched me. Well, dear friends, if you really liked our video and you want to hear a lot of more inspiring stories of some very, very successful people, please subscribe to our channel through the links on our video and share it with your friends and families. I'll end by these beautiful words by Dale Carnegie. Happiness does not depend on any external conditions, but by our own mental attitude. Thank you friends, have a great day ahead.